to be honest, how amazing is this? Heihachi returns, they've killed him off, you know, well, twice, I guess, and then they, you know, he always comes back, but Tekken 8 would not be the same without him. This guy is Tekken, and he's arguably the most iconic Tekken character of all time. There was a, a press event like two weeks ago where I and a couple of journalists and other players got to play Heihachi. So streamer, YouTuber privilege, naughty naughty. So I'm gonna watch the trailer now and again I haven't seen this trailer obviously and I've tried Heihachi but the way they allowed us to try Heihachi and I have some footage of me playing Heihachi that I'm gonna post like maybe tomorrow. Uh, but it was very hard to make anything out because we were only allowed to play versus mode against the AI. So, of course, no practice mode with frame data or, you know, try what is this, what is this. I, I tried, you know, I had like 40 minutes to, tr to try and get something out of that, but it was really difficult. I think we just wait, watch the trailer because I couldn't test everything. So I'm going to see a lot of new stuff, I think, in the trailer. What, what I did notice when I played was that he has a very interesting mechanic like Lydia, where he can buff himself three times. I'm going to get into it soon. I'm sure they showcase that in the trailer. And he looks so fucking cool. He's never looked as good, but that's every character in Tekken 8, I think. Well, except for Steve, Bo Steve Botox. Uh, but he actually looks great. And I love how they're like, oh, he weighs 86 kilograms. And then he's like, as big as a fucking house. I, in the character select screen, I was like, uh, he weighs 86 kilograms. And then he's like twice as big as Kazuya. It's just, uh, that's funny. But so, let's watch the trailer together here, and then I'm gonna give you guys some thoughts on it. Well, I'm gonna give you some... Let, let's watch the entire thing. And a lot of people don't know this, but the last year of Tekken 7, this is the character I played the most. It was not Kazuya, it was Heihachi. So I'm hoping uh, it feels amazing to play. And so this is the new stage. So I, I got to play on this stage a bit, and it, it looks great. And it has a day cycle. And I like the new voice. I think he does a really good job. Resurrected King of Iron Fist. <laughs> he looks so psycho! He's so cool. Remember, this is my character. You're not allowed to play him. You're only allowed to play Lars and Jin. Oh, wow. Uh, I noticed this as well. He has two stances now. Like Rey now. So Raijin stands on Heaven's Wrath. He auto parries in heat like Reyna. And has an unbreakable throw like Reyna from Heaven's Wrath. He's so sick. <laughs> That's an unbreakable throw. <laughs> yeah. Demon uppercut. There are two versions of that heat smash. Oh shit. Oh shit, Kazuya looks so badass though. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking nuclear bomb going off. Oh, this. This is the super epic heat, man. It's so sick. <laughs> oh, 
Total fucking destruction. How cool is this, by the way? Oh, you don't see it in this trailer. But after here, when it fades white and it goes into Do You Want to Rematch, it looks exactly like the Tekken 7 poster with uh, Hiachi's eyes darkened out. You don't see it here, but I promise it looks so fucking sick. Yeah, it's Tekken 7 main menu, Tekken 7 cover. Does he have Omen? That was the biggest heartbreak, and what I ch tested immediately, Omen does not launch anymore. 1-1-2. Flash punch wall splats. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's still there. And it's still gonna be cancer. Oh, early access in six days. Okay, this I did not know. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a cool outfit. And that's Legacy. Gen Maji Temple. <laughs> I played this <laughs> Oh, Bunny Reina. I played this chap- uh, this story mode. And uh, this one, I'm not allowed to disclose how it was. But holy shit, it made me laugh. <laughs> it made me fucking laugh. I can't wait to play it on stream with you guys. I don't think it was clear from this trailer, but the, the most important thing to mention immediately is that Heihachi has an install system like, like Lydia, where if he does certain things, like anytime he hits a heat engager, he gets one token. And I think he only gets one token per round, but when he has three tokens, this now glows like a golden W beneath the health bar. Now you can press like a taunt like Brian. One, three, and four. And you're gonna do this at the start of a round because this like powers him up into... He just immediately goes like... <laughs> like this. And the opponent just flies down if you're not blocking. Like... Ah! He just, because he actually is so fucking awesome and epic. This is called Warrior Instinct, I think. You press one, three, four. And now he powers up, and now he, his, his scars glow, golden, on his chest, and he's like red-ish, and he's powered up Heiachi. This sticks for, for the entire fucking round, until someone is KO'd. I think he has buffed up attacks, but the most important function is that I think he goes into heat when he does this immediately, no matter what. And he has a very long heat bar, I think, it, or, or it's like, it's, it's as long, but he consumes less heat. And also, very important, is that any time he hits the opponent now, they're not allowed any recoverable health, and he is allowed way more recoverable health. So it's, it seems like a super strong, like, uh, power up, I don't know what to call it, if it's even an... It's not an install, it just gets a beefed up form called Warrior Instinct. But again, you need to land, you need to get free tokens. So I, I don't think this is going to be guaranteed to happen to you over the course of a match, but it seemed really, really strong. Forward 3 4 is still a Raijin stance, and down 1 plus 2 is, is like uh, Heaven's Wrath. And again, as I said, it auto parries in heat, just like Reyna. It, he has uh, a ton of mix ups from it. It's specifically Raijin Stance, which gives him an unbreakable broken toy. Broken toy now is not done in the neutral, it's, it's done from a stance, and it's an unbreakable throw. In terms of lows, core gameplay seems sort of the same, although more stance, of course. Demon Uppercut is still a launcher, still flips on the ground, I don't know the frames, it still seems safe-ish on block at minus 16 with pushback. Uh, Hell Sweep is the same, seemed the same. Uh, down back 2 has more frames now, but it doesn't do anything. It's, it's not like it, it counter hit launcher now or anything. I think it's just the same, same like Tekken 7 gives frames, you know, and it's still launch punishable. Um, forward free was the most notable change. That's like a broken mid in Tekken 7. It's absurd. Now, now it doesn't knock down into a guaranteed demon uppercut and it does not counter it launch. 
But as you saw in the trailer, in a juggle, it will do the Brian Dombeck 2 effect, which like floats them very, very nice and high for like a wall splat. And it has a stance transition now as well. And yeah, 1 1 2 wall splats. 1 1 2 still seemed hit confirmable, so 1 1 2 is crazy. Back 4, his knockdown homing mid was gone. What back 4 does now is like, it's still a counter at launcher, but it's like a frost kick. Like, uh, safe on block, long range, counter it mid launcher. When he has one token of warrior instinct, so that's not free, that's not full, just one, he immediately unlocks new attacks. And now he gets his old rage drive in one back to two, which uh, natural combos on counter hit, like the old rage drive. And the two, two, chrome dome is a natural. And it had good frames on block. And his forward forward free. When he has one token, gets huge frames. You know it's Ford Ford Free, which is a mid launcher, left split kick, that axe kick? I think that's plus on block when he has one token. And this this one insta screws. Right. I remember this. And this is CD443. Insanely good. Insanely good for uh, for wall travel. Uh, you might think when you see this that okay, CD four four one is still gonna put them higher on the wall. Absolutely not. You see how f how high Lars goes goes there. Very high up. Like uh, using that as an ender. Like you, you could run in and do his best wall combo. You had plenty of time to run in there. Forward two, two. There were plenty of new strings everywhere, like new strings. So here he goes again into stance and has a power crush from stance. Power crush homing. I don't remember what button this was. There we're gonna see a punish. This is a 12 frame chrome dome, back one plus two. This, I, I did not test Chrome Dome. Hey, th thanks for the sub, boys. Uh, I'm gonna pause alerts a bit here. I did not test Chrome Dome. It's, it's never been a priority attack for Yachi. So here, we've done this a lot with Tekken 8. For like, useless attacks, we need to do something with them. They need to be viable. They did this with Kazuya, uh, Jin, etc. Well, Jin's never had useless attacks. But here, so Chrome Dome apparently now, this is a 12 frame, gives enough frame advantage for a follow up. That is actually one fucking scary 12 frame punish. Because with that knockdown here as well, you know this is gonna wall splat. And he has his 1 1 2 still to wall splat. That's a big buff. And it's nice to see defensive buffs. You know, people spam a lot in Tekken 8, so. It's nice to see a defensive buff. Okay, it auto parries. Stance, the stance auto parries. Duck into while stunning one. I actually thought while stunning one was going to be a heat engager. It's not, it's still the same. Again, I couldn't test the frames. And here you can still omen for the max damage here. And again, Omen can be done like an electric now, I, I believe. Um, that's what it felt like. But again, Omen is not a launcher anymore. This is Rao Frost. This is Ford Ford 1 plus 2. Those of you who wondered, just like me, if Heiachi was gonna have a Demon Paw style attack for a Heat Engager, this is it. I couldn't test the frames, but I believe it's safe on block. Minus 9 on block. So again, Rao Frost. It looks really sick. Um, but so this is a heat engager. Probably safe on block, knockdown mid. So here's electric. Electric felt the same. Felt really good. Looks sick. I believe. Is this the next stance? God, it's so hard for me to tell here. That is back four. This kick here. That is back four. That's a safe on block, counter hit mid launcher.
<laughs> oh god, it's so sick. So this is his new sidestep 2 string, I assume. It's not sidestep 2 1, it's powers up. And then I home, is this a homing high guard break? Guard break into 1 1 2. And there's your flash punch wall splat, by the way. So he has a guard break. That you'll be able to duck, of course, but man, that's gonna be oppressive. Down one, two. Has a stance transition now. The huge Thunder God Fist. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Th this is down one plus two. So this is uh, Heaven's Wrath ish stance. If you press two, he does an electric that insta screws. If you press one, Thunder God Fist. If you press four, he stomps the opponent's foot. And if you press three, he does a down free style attack, which you saw prior. So that's sort of what he looks like when he goes into um, Warrior Instinct. He starts glowing red and golden on his chest. I mean, that's, that it, they, yeah, that's it. That's the activation of it. And he looks like a fucking tank. <laughs> Holy shit, these mix-ups. Like I told you before, here he can do his old, ra old Rage Drive, right? And now he can Chrome Dome. But if you respect, he'll go into a uh, Raijin stance. And then mix you up. And then Unbreakable Throw, that's homing. Bagouche, big frames. And he, now he goes into Heaven's Wrath. Unbreakable Throw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be oppressive, Heiachi. Oh my god, I, I can't believe I haven't mentioned it. His downford 1-2 is gone. And uh, you know, downford 1-2, he hammers down, that's gone. Now he does downford 1-2, still unnatural, but he just... He does a normal uh, punch forward, and uh, I, it doesn't wall splat. Doesn't wall splat. So that, that's a nerf. Um, but you can charge up the second punch. You can go down for one, charge, and then Bagush on block. Did, did that guard break? I think that's a guard break. And forward four on crouch still gives uh, a down for one, two follow up. But again, doesn't wall splat. So demon uppercut, as you can see, is still huge pushback. So probably still minus 16 on block with pushback. So Jin's punish here would be. I mean, old Jin would do forward four, new Jin does whatever the fuck he wants. Did these stands cancel Demon Uppercut? No, just like a scrub at minus 16, I believe he's, uh, he's spamming parry here. This is back one plus two and it's a heat engager. That, that's a parry heat engager. Back, back one plus two. So Jin, poor Jin was late on the punish. Nice, and here's the heat smash one. I think you need three tokens to do the second heat smash you see when he does like a million punches. That one would only work for me if I had three tokens. Kazuya looks so sick here. <laughs> I think he's tired of seeing uh, the old man resurrected over and over. Stomach 1, 2, minus 19. Iron Hand Punish, Heat Engager. So this is a Heat Attack, Upward for 2. And here is the second heat smash. And this, I think this is free tokens only. Looks super sick, big damage, and just like Jin's, wall splats from 50 miles away. And where's Dombek 2? As you can see, some, some nice frames still. But no counter hit launch, no knockdown. 
This is his new while standing launcher. It's done like uh, Geese Howard's launcher. Uh, you hold crouch, and then instead of down for one, it's down for two. You get this. I, I didn't test if while standing free, one plus two is gone, but I, I just assume it is gone. And again, I don't know the frames of this attack. But it does look significantly faster, though, than while standing free. So, he actually might now actually have, you know, a very viable while standing launcher. I mean, this could be 15. And if it is 15, it's, it's huge for him. So here's Ford Free Cancel. Into the, the special electric. Which, which bounds. You know what he can do on larger characters now that I see this? He can probably do electric, electric, dash electric, forward free, stance, electric, and bound. He can do... He probably can do huge fucking combos on larger male characters like Paul, Brian, etc. Oh, so he has, he has a tailspin. He has a tailspin, that's huge. And there's down 3-2 in heat. Big damage. Interesting choice of punish on a hell sweep here. I don't remember the input on that move. Oh yeah, this is the new string. Uh, it's one, two, two, one plus two, one plus two, or something. It's, it looks super cool. New wall combo string. This is nothing I tested. I didn't test that. Oh, yeah. And here, <laughs> here we see beefed up Heachi. Yay, we're back to Tekken 2 where hell sweeps don't stagger on block. Like, holy shit. Have fun with this, guys. <laughs> like, oh, you have a read on my low? La, 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 and then mix up? And look at that. That hit? How plus was that? Like, bagoosh. Into stance. And there's the stomp. Oh my god, right. And his de So I guess his demon... <laughs> when he's beefed up, his demon breath gives a demon uppercut. And the demon uppercut is beefed up. You see how heavy... Uh, by the way, as everything so much has a new animation. His new Ford 4 looks so heavy hitting. And now you're launched. By the way, this is his new down for two. So no longer, just like Devil Jin and Jin, no longer a safe 15 frame mid counter at launcher and down for two. His down for two now is. It's, it's called reverse TP, you know, the twin piston. He used to have downford 1, 2, right? But they removed that a long time ago. So now he has a reverse where he does downford 2, 1. So he switches arms and he does that string. And normally this string in Tekken 8 will only knock down. But it seems here in Warrior Instinct, I mean, it's gonna launch? And as he gets 15 frames here, it connects. This is guaranteed after Ford 4 on Crouch. And you're fucking launched. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, you're never gonna duck Hiachi. Ever. And CD441 throws him so high in the air. And this is also beefed up that he gets a, a jab string here. And this worked even without Warrior Instinct, by the way. CD441 would throw them so high you could connect a jab. And there's the old Rage Drive. One, back to two. Again, th this is available outside of Warrior Instinct. You just need one token of Warrior Instinct. So not three tokens and then activate the powered up um, state of Heachi.
Oh my god, and you see that still uh, gives that uh, grounded stun, where he gets a guaranteed stomp. Does he have any new lows? Uh, from stands. Uh, oh, and he has a low poke in like down back free or something. It's a legit like low poke. He just does a quick. <laughs> so he has a new low poke, but I can't tell you the frames because I wasn't allowed to test them. But he seems to follow the same, you know, like the best highs and mids you're ever gonna see. Oh god, but lows, you know, not not that much. And I love this Tekken 5 DR, the intro. The, the tombstones where Heihachi is, you know, resurrected, or well, resurrected, he punches, he's buried, and then he comes back, you know. Guys, is he ripped for a 75-year-old? <laughs> TRT abuser. <laughs> I think that this goes beyond, you know, prescribed TRT. I don't know. Yeah, again, you unlock Warrior Instinct with free tokens, and then for one round, you go like uh, Ultra Instinct Heiachi, and you're fucking god mode. That's super awesome trailer, and I hope everyone is happy with how Heiachi looks and how the gameplay looks. I, I think he looks super sick. And uh, the voice is, I mean, uh, you know, rest in peace, uh, almost like a cursed character. Well, it's an old character. Uh, the voice actors are typically old, and he's had what... His original voice actor died, his uh, Tag 2 voice, the, the guy who took over with Tag 2, he died. So it's this character where they always need a new voice actor, you know. Um, yeah, this is his third voice, I think, but I think he does a really good job. And is it the same guy that did the voice in uh, um, Tekken Bloodline on Netflix? Is it the same guy? Oh, it is, it is, okay. Pretty sure his Tekken 1 voice is still alive. <laughs> I think so too, it's Harada. Yeah, that's Harada doing those grunts. Oh. 